This is Kirsty Stanley. She's a makeup magician who can create pretty much any injury in what has to be one of the most gruesome offices ever. So Kirsty, what, what kind of injuries have we got here? We've got a heart operation here with a heart that beats and a lung that inflates. You actually do stuff inside the body as well. Sometimes, yeah. Even though it's not full of blood, it looks very realistic. Yeah, we try and make it look as you know, realistic as we can. So there's some stuff that's inside the body, and, and then you, you're also obviously able to do skin really beautifully. Yeah. So all the skins are made out of silicon. Mm -hmm. So this is um, a guy that had a stab wound, so this has just been stitched. So do you, how does this work? Do you, you, put this, you put this on an actor? Um, yeah. So, and then just hide all the, all the joints. I mean, that is a very convincing cut and tummy, isn't it? Yes, I think so. So, although some rubbery bits of body are wrapped around the stomach, a fake leg like this is placed on the hospital bed and the actor hides his real leg underneath. So this leg is quite amazing, isn't it? Because the, the top of the leg looks like it's in the normal position and the foot is turned in a position that you could never normally turn it into without having a very bad break. We know there's a bad break because we've got bone poking through the skin. That patient would obviously be in a lot of pain. <laughs> All these fake injuries wouldn't be complete without some fake blood. So here's our blood cupboard, and we have lots of different types of blood here. Like AB positive, O negative, A positive, B negative. No, no not quite like that. Uh, we have um, we have our fresh blood here and here. Oh, so you have blood that looks different. Yes. Okay, so this so is this is our fresh blood here. Let's have a look. Okay, so th that's fresh. Yeah, that, and that's bright red, isn't it? Yep. Then we have um, dark blood here. Really nice. What else? And then we have a congealed here, which is thicker. Oh, with blobs in it. Yeah, that's really good, isn't it? This blood is fake, but different blood has different characteristics. This fresh blood is bright red, and that's because it's got oxygen in it. And that's when you, like, cut yourself, or you have a nosebleed, and the blood's bright red. This dark blood, you might see in an operation if you cut a vein, and veins don't have oxygen in their blood, so that, that would look darker. And then this stuff here, it's, it's, a, it's somewhere between red and dark, and it's got big lumps in it, and that's yeah. clots forming, is it? Yes. So it looks real, but actually it's just sugar water with food colouring. So my hand's looking quite ill now. Uh, can you give me a bigger injury? Yeah, would you like a burn or something like that? Yeah, burn. Let's give me a burn. Only I would get that excited about a burn. Kirsty starts by sticking on some pre-made wounds from silicon moulds. So already it's obvious there's something very wrong with my hand. She applies some special blister gel and sprays it with red paint. And then adds some more fluid. And the burn is finished off with black paint. OK, so there's your burn. So looking at this as a doctor, it, this is a very realistic and serious burn. The skin's all puckered up. There's fluid oozing out of it because of the inflammation. You can see the, the redness from the increased blood flow and, of course, the charring from the burn itself. Firstly, that is amazing. Thank you very much indeed. You're welcome. I'm going to go and show it to Zand. I don't think it'll be full, though.